Vertex Smart Analytics uses the latest machine learning analytic tools to accurately identify persons and vehicles in order to reduce false alerts. Spend less time looking at irrelevant video and only see what you really need. The area in which you would like to detect persons or vehicles is called the primary detection area and should be the majority of the camera's picture. Install the camera as close to the primary detection area as possible. Place your cameras in locations with as few obstructions as possible. Objects such as bushes, trees, and structures will limit the effectiveness of person and vehicle detection. A Vertex Smart Analytics default settings will deliver good results in most installations. We recommend you try out these settings for a week or two, and if you find that you are getting false alerts, you will need to adjust the settings. To adjust your settings, you'll need to log into your camera's setup menu. With the camera connected to a ProConnect recorder, enter the recorder's setup menu. In the Camera Setup tab, click on the camera you would like to adjust. Click on the IP address in the Camera Information column on the right side. Enter Username and Password to log into the camera. Camera passwords can be found by clicking on the I icon on the camera login screen. The camera is pre-configured with two detection rules by default. Rule 1 is configured for person detection. Rule 2 is configured for vehicle detection. A total of four detection rules can be added to one camera. Click the plus icon to add additional detection rules. Detection area defines the area in an image where smart analytics will be performed. Modifying this area can mask out parts of the scene you do not want to trigger a detection event. To adjust the detection area, click a point and drag to the new position. Detection boxes are used to set the minimum and maximum size of objects you would like to detect using Smart Analytics in the image. To set the minimum or min size detection box, select the filter type. Click the min size checkbox. Click and drag a point on the green box labeled min size representing a person or vehicle at the furthest distance from the camera to detect. To create a maximum or max size detection box, click the max size checkbox. Click and drag a point on the green box labeled max size representing a person or vehicle at the closest distance from the camera to detect. Threshold is the amount of time in seconds a person or vehicle must be detected in the detection area to trigger an event. For example, if threshold is set to 2, an event is triggered when a person or vehicle has been detected inside the detection area for 2 seconds. A vertex recommends a threshold at 2 to 3 for most scenes. The value of the sensitivity defines how sensitive the system is to objects which can trigger events. Setting the sensitivity too high can result in increased false alerts, and setting the sensitivity too low can result in missed events. Vertex recommends a sensitivity range of 65 to 75 for person and vehicle detection accuracy in most scenes. Once you have adjusted your camera's settings to your particular installation's needs, click Save and the camera will use the new settings. Run your system for a few days. If you are still receiving false alerts, we recommend making small changes to your settings until you are satisfied with the results. If your camera includes active deterrence features such as the HD458 IR bullet camera, now is a good time to set those up as well. Click on the Trigger Actions tab. In the Alarm Output column, select Alarm Sound, Alarm Light, or both. Click on the gear icon to adjust alarm parameters. Alarm sounds can be set to a number of siren sounds or pre-recorded messages and set to the time of day and days of the week you would like them to be played. Start time and end time are in the 24-hour format. A start time set to zero hours, zero minutes, and zero seconds, and an end time of 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds will enable the alarm all day. 
If you would like the start time and end time to be applied to other days, select the days you would like it copied to or select all and click the copy to button. Alarm light can be set by duration and the time of day and days of the week you would like it to be activated. Duration is the length in seconds that the light will shine when activated and start time and end time are set in the same way as alarm sounds. Click save and your parameters will be set. Thank you for taking the time to understand your Vertex system better. As always, if you have any questions, please contact the Avertex Pro Team at 855-228-3789.